So welcome everybody to this tapping with frequencies session. Hello Sabine as well. Hi. Hi Chris. Awesome. And Cheryl, hello. Good to see you. Hopefully everyone's made it who bought the single session. I'm just um I'm just going to just quickly double check my Facebook messages to make sure that everyone is arriving and that we aren't missing anyone. All right, no, I think that's it. I think we're good to go. So welcome to this session. I'm so excited because um, I'm bringing this amazing new woman that I'm working with on a regular basis to do more of these sessions. Uh, we were doing EFT, so tapping um, with frequencies for the first time just a few weeks ago. We started with manifestation, so we did a manifestation challenge. Some of you may have seen it, and um, we had some amazing results. And it was just so powerful, like our whole bodies were vibrating. And at the same time, we were doing Healy scans and we were bringing up all sorts of different um, things for the whole group which was helping us then tap on, we then were coming up with how we tapped on those points to see how we could let go of anything that was blocking us from moving forward in our life in general. And so powerful. And then we did this weekend workshop, which was amazing. It was really intense actually. And now Anya, who I'm gonna to introduce to you in a minute, she's gonna be doing like a monthly tapping with frequency session for the group, for the members lounge but also for anyone else that wants to join just on a single session every month. So I'm really, really delighted to welcome Anya. Anya, would you like to introduce yourself to everybody? Yes, thank you, Abby, for the introduction. And yeah, I'm so happy. I've been working with you and the amazing results we've had, the, the combination of tapping and the Healy, it's just extraordinary, like incredibly powerful. So really happy to be here. So yeah, I've been doing... Uh, EFT for over 15 years and, and doing quantum healing in different ways and I love I love working with groups and people and I'm really excited and I'll explain about EFT do you need to explain now Abby yeah yeah so they know yeah, that'd be really good actually if you could just a little little intro on what EFT yeah, is so it, it's like acupuncture without needles and it has it has a profound healing qualities and we i'll just teach you it all it's very very simple we're tapping on different points and just by tapping we're releasing all the cortisol and stress hormones the adrenaline and we're releasing the negative beliefs as we talk about it and we always focus on the negative first and then we do a lot of positive runs and it's like there's a break in the energy meridians and tapping just releases that and and you just feel more whole and more relaxed and feeling the positives and manifesting whatever you want. So it's incredibly powerful. It's very easy. You can use either hand. Um, I'm quite relaxed about it. And I'll just explain, we do a setup which tunes you into it. And then we just tap on the rounds. And hopefully I'll be using your words and some of your beliefs and what, what your frustrations are. It's gonna be tailor-made to you all here today with the help of the healing and what comes up. So yeah, excited to be doing it in a while. Thank you. Thank you, Anya. Um, it, it was cutting out a little bit, but hopefully it won't be too much of a, um, it won't be too, too disruptive. I don't know. Oh, why well, not very clear here? It's, um, it's okay. We could still hear you. Just, I will let you know if, if it breaks um, up a little bit. It's, it's Wales, but I've, I'm next to the router, so I thought I'd be okay. All right. Well, should, we should be fine. We should be fine. We are going to manifest that. So okay. um, welcome to everyone else that's just joined us and we're going to get started. So we're going to start off with um, scanning the group. So we're going to scan the group. I'm going to share my screen in a moment so you'll be able to watch the scan. And we're going to scan everyone in um, that's here. Um, but also it's also going to also scan anyone that's watching the replay as well, because I will um, have that intention. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to maybe make the picture now. So if everyone could turn their cameras on, it would be really good. And because I've got the Heal Avalon logo there, it also includes anyone else 
that is joining at a later time. So they, in, the intention is there. So I'm just going to get my phone. I'm going to make a picture. So if you make sure everyone's looking at the screen and cheese. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to make a client. I'm going to, well, I'll share my screen now so you can watch how I do it for the future for anyone who wants to do it themselves. Okay, um, did two resonance. So we're gonna add in the client now. Add new client and we're gonna add a group. Okay, great. So this one is tapping with frequencies and the date of foundation is today. And places heal Avalon. Okay. I'm going to add in here everyone, including replay, just to make sure in the heal Avalon session, including. Okay. Okay, good. So the intention is there. We will now add the client. Okay, so we're in there. And um, we're going to actually start with scanning the uh, Shrews assaults. Because the reason why, I, why I'm choosing this one is that the minerals, the, the cell salts are actually the building blocks of the body. They're our foundations and it's really, they're actually the most important um, vitamins or no, minerals that you can put into your body and you can add them as many times and you can scan them as many times as you want and send frequencies to them as many times you want. There's never a limit on them. So they're actually very, very important in our health. And also it's what we need to build on in terms of foundations. So as you know, this particular session is about self-worth and any limiting beliefs that we may have that stop us from moving forward in life in, 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 in all ways, whether it's we're um, in, in fear or if we're in um, not able to do what we really want to do in life, perhaps we're stuck somewhere and we're like, oh, um, things aren't going so well, things are not in alignment. Sometimes there's a block there that we have in our subconscious, maybe something we've picked up from childhood um, something that's happened to us in the past, that we are stuck in that mindset, okay? Often it's a, a limiting belief that we've created over and over and over again from usually a thought that has created an emotion and that's an intense emotion. So once you do that a few times and that thought pattern keeps creating it, it creates a belief. That belief then it's like, oh, okay, that's real. The body thinks it's real. And then we continue that real belief all the time. And that can be self-doubt, that can be um, lots of different fears um, that we don't even realize we've got. And that can stop us from actually living a happy life and fulfilled life. So we're gonna work on that with the sluice assaults to start with. So I'm gonna go to resonance. Connect the Healy. And also what I would like you all to do right now, which will be really good, is please put into the chat box any self-limiting beliefs that may come up for you on a regular occurrence, okay? Try to be as specific as possible because this will really help Anya when she's creating the different sentences with the tapping. So if something's coming up for you that's really blocking you at the moment, please just write your feelings in there into the chat box. And that's also on Facebook as well. So if anyone's watching Facebook, I will check the chat in a second. All right. All right, so that's, uh, okay, great. So just let you put those into the chat box for a second. I'll let you write that. So one for Margaret, not good enough. Yeah, that's a big one. 
a big one. I'll definitely be doing that, some more of that in this session. Just wait for you all to say not good enough, not good enough, wow, a lot of that. Perfectionism can't achieve the perfect, so not worth starting. Oh yeah, I know that one very well. <laughs> I, mine is not being prepared enough. <laughs> Definitely not good enough. Okay, we're getting that. We're getting that. We're getting the flow here. All right, let's all connect. So, I'd like everyone just invite everyone just to close your eyes for just a moment, just for a moment, just wherever you are. If you're driving, it's not going to work. <laughs> Hopefully, you're all in a relaxed space. So, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> breathe out fully. Another deep breath in and fully out, enjoying this breath, enjoying this moment. One more breath in and breathing fully out. And just taking a minute now just to feel your body Feel the emotions, feel that feeling in the body when that perhaps that feeling of perfectionism or that not good enough feeling. Where is that in the body right now? And just put some awareness on it. Don't judge yourself. Just put the awareness on anything that may be block it, blocking you from perhaps doing that task that you've been wanting to do for a while. Quick body scan around the body. Where is it? Where are you feeling that in your body? Perhaps you want to put one hand on that part of the body just to comfort it and just to, to feel where you are, to also feel the body so that you can feel your physical self. And now I'm going to scan the cell salts, the building blocks of the body for the whole group. So everyone should be connected within. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can come back into the room, open your eyes, and we will have a look at the scan and see what's coming up for everyone. All right, so at the top, we've got the fear of loss and materialism that's coming up, present state. So here we've got this is the symptom of not having enough of that cell salt. And the cell salt is aurum chloride sodium. That's what we're as a group needing more of. Um, does that, the desired state is focusing on the essentials, so supporting the ability to be in the flow and to follow one's intuition and rhythm, promoting transcendental thinking, okay? So we see here as well, like the different parts of the body that it's affecting the pineal gland. I mean, the pineal gland, that's our vision. That's, that's our third eye, it's, that's huge. That's actually one of the main spirit glands. It's super powerful. And, and actually the pineal gland is very much blocked for all of us with um, with calcium, with um, with fluoride. Some of you will know, some of you may buy uh, fluoride free toothpaste, for example, but there's fluoride in everything and that blocks the pineal gland. And it's one of the things that blocks it. So that's interesting that that comes up there. That's our blockage to spirit, which is really interesting because all of us here are probably working in that realm of healing of some sort and with frequency because you're all here from the Healy group. So that's very, very interesting about connecting, having a clear vision, connecting with spirit and the fear of loss. So let's keep going. So the next one, we've got insensitive and unapproachable. So this is another symptom of not having enough sodium phosphate 
So it's about being more sensitive. Actually, it's about integration, supporting the ability to feel tolerance and respect for others, promoting gentleness and mindfulness. So actually integration is a huge topic as well, because a lot of the time we go and do all this work on ourselves. We go and do a lot of people do plant medicine, but there's also lots of meditation, a lot of uh, physical healing work, and then we don't actually embody that physically. So what we do is we work a lot in the spirit world. We don't actually embody it in 3D world. So maybe we can do something on actually integration, Anya, like maybe we can talk about like bringing it into the body and also um, digesting what we're learning on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know if you can do something around that. Okay, let's keep going. So we've got also inner restlessness due to unprocessed stress. So perhaps another one is around stress because I know stress is a big one. And um, inner restlessness. So um, also really great if you can write in the chat box if any of this is resonating with you actually. So let me know, we can go back in a minute and you can just let me know if, which one is you connecting the most with. This is for dealing with the past. So supporting the ability to cope with past and unprocessed burdens. And then to achieve lasting inner peace and serenity. So again, this is probably with past burdens. I mean, burdens is a big one for me. I often feel like a burden. I often feel like I don't belong. Um, if that actually resonates with you, let me know. Let us know because then we can work on that. So anything from the past that may be coming up. And that's all around skin, organs, thyroid gland as well. Next, we've got overstrain. So self-exploitation and discouragement. Again, these are all big, strong belief systems that we've created for ourselves. We overdo it. We always overstrain. We always overwork. We try too hard. We've been taught in our belief systems to work a lot. And sometimes it's not always working at the thing we're supposed to be doing or the thing that really feels good for us in life. But we have to work and we have to make money and we have to survive. So also feeling discouragement, if anyone's been discouraged as a child, maybe something like that's coming up for someone. The more we write in the chat box, by the way, the more we can really go deeper on your belief, on your self-limiting beliefs. And then we've got insecurity. So insecurity is coming up, which is for the, for the mineral copper arsenite. So this is, we're gonna send frequencies for the positives, by the way. So believing in your own stability, seeking access to inner sources of strength, supporting courage and the ability to recognize you are loved for your abilities and for your own sake. This is a beautiful one, actually. So you can take some positives from this, Anya, as well for later. So this is around blood, muscles, and nerves. That's the physical body part. So that's about circulation, actually, and really our nervous systems. So really great. So Chris, overstrain and discouragement. Yes, great. Thank you so much for sharing. Bernie, yes, overstrain running after others with no time for self-care and no encouragement to follow my soul path. Amazing, Bernie. I know you've been working really hard on your business and that must be really hard for you actually to have to look after everyone else and not being able to have time for your own work. You know, not belonging yet. Never felt, not, never having felt right in the human body. Yeah. So really just being present in our bodies actually. And to feel present, unable to surrender to own emotions, childhood rejection of the same. Okay, so some rejection there. And that can also come up with insecurities, you know, with this, with this particular one. So let us know if there's anything else that anyone wants to share before we start the first tapping session. So any, um, any stress coming up for anyone, any, 
anything that's all of them resonate louise yeah yeah i can imagine that i mean they're all quite relevant anyway again insensitive and unapproachable i wonder if anyone's been kind of i i can imagine that what that means it's about um perhaps putting up some walls where we don't feel so maybe we we prefer to be on our own um perhaps we prefer not prefer not to be in a maybe in a group setting or maybe we don't really want to be approachable because then people can talk to us and then we have to show our emotions or our feelings maybe that's coming up for people maybe people maybe if you want to say if that resonates with you isn't it with the emotional thing yeah i think like that happens when you've gone through something quite difficult and there's fear of loss as well so if anyone has have a fear of losing something perhaps that's maybe also something that stops you from moving forward so i mean i don't know if you've managed to get something for, from from that scan trauma yeah yes lots of trauma we can work on that um perfect thank you so much for sharing everyone want to be with people but don't feel connected once i'm in a group wow that's big that's really that's a really good one sabine um where you you want to connect you get to get you come together with certain people but they just don't you just feel like you can't really you don't feel like they resonate with you sometimes that's a disconnection from self as well so we can tap into that i'm sure i'm sure anya can do something around that cheryl insecurity in our sources of strength loved for being me yes right overstrain i'm just gonna mute um and fear of loss of materialism yes and surrounded by people who value material things so yeah, of course a lot of this self-worth always comes to what you feel like you can um manifest as well like what you feel like you deserve to receive because at the end of the day we all want to receive right we want to receive love we want to receive anything that we desire money and we want to receive the best of everything so if we don't value ourselves then we're not able to receive that Okay, so it's, it's a lot around that as well. So I really see that. How long a minutes do you usually run this program? Okay, so we're going to be running the program for, for as long as we do the tapping and you can run it for as long as you want. Usually I just do something quite short if I'm on my own with a short meditation, that'd be two minutes 49. But um, with a tapping session, we're probably going to do about 12 minutes for the first session. All right, so Anya, over to you. I'm going to stop sharing the screen and I'm going to run the frequencies in the background. All right. Hi, can you hear me all right? Abby, am I working? Yeah, we hear you okay. Yeah, <coughs> you're working. Good, good. Yeah, let me know if, if uh, signal goes. Wow, there's a lot there. There's a huge amount to do. Um, we, can, we can spend longer on this and get the positives from this if you want, because there were some positives in there as well. So it, I think that if we can get, if we can get, I mean, we've got already a lot already. So if we can, if it means we spend longer on just doing this one scan, we can do a little Alaskan gems at the end for grounding. Nice, nice. Yeah. So I'm going to do the tapping and Abby's going to be my echo. And then you oh, say the words up. back with Abby. Yeah. So what we do, first of all, those of you who hey, perfect. don't know about tapping, is that we're going to tune in. And we do that on the side of our hand. So we're going to tune in now. And if. I invite you to do as much as you want. There's no pressure. If things don't right, don't feel right, just don't say it. But I'll do it anyway. And I'm going to work my way through everything and hopefully include everything that you've said. Okay. So even though I have these blocks, even though I have these blocks, I'm not feeling tuned in at the moment. I'm not feeling tuned in at the moment. I'm not feeling totally connected. I'm not feeling totally connected. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Yeah, even though there's these fears coming up. Even though there's these fears coming up. There's some blocks to me feeling good about myself. There's some blocks feeling good about myself. I love and accept myself. 
I love and accept myself. Yeah. Even though I'm tuning in to not feeling good enough. Even though I'm tuning in to not feeling good enough. I'm feeling unworthy to receive. I'm feeling unworthy to receive. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Yeah. And then we're going to start the tapping rounds now. I don't feel in flow. I don't feel in flow. Sorry, top of the head. We're going to do the eyebrow. I'm not in flow. I'm not in flow. Side of the eye. I'm, I'm overthinking things. I'm overthinking things. Yeah, I've got these blocks going on. I've got these blocks going on. I'm not connected to spirit. I'm not connected to spirit. As much as I could be. As much as I could be. There's some, we're going to do collarbone point. If you can see it, just below your collarbone on the side. I'm not connected. I'm not connected. To be honest, there's a fear of loss. There's a fear of loss. It's, and then doing the wrist point, stopping me following my intuition. Stopping me following my intuition. And we're going to do the finger points. So we're going to do each fingernail. Yeah, these blocks going on. These blocks going on. I'm releasing any blocks to spirit. I'm releasing any blocks to spirit. Middle thing. Releasing any block to me contacting my intuition. Um, can you just repeat that? Sorry. Yeah. I'm releasing any blocks stopping me contacting my intuition. I'm releasing any blocks stopping me contacting my intuition. Yeah. Releasing any blocks to spirit. Releasing any blocks to spirit. Trusting myself. Trusting myself. Yeah, and then we're going to go keep going. Just do a few more. I'll go top of the head. Yeah. There's this stress going on. There's this stress going on. Being the stress in my body. Feeling the stress in my body. This could be stress from the past. Could be stress from the past. Or stress now in my life. Or stress now in my life. It's stress moving forward. Stress moving forward. Yeah. It's procrastinating. It's procrastinating. Putting things off. Putting things off. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I can't do this. I can't do this. Who am I to do all this? Who am I to do all this? Feeling like an imposter. Feeling like an imposter. It's all too much. It's all too much. Oh, so I'll just put it off. I'll just put it off. Yeah. Don't trust myself. Yeah, don't trust myself. Not believing in myself. I'm not believing in myself. Yeah. Feeling like I don't belong. Feeling like I don't belong. Not, not feeling I'm part of anything. Not feeling a part of anything. Yeah. Don't know my tribe. I don't know my tribe. Not even sure about being in my body. I'm not, not even sure about being in my body. Yeah. This lack of trust of being in my body. This lack of trust of being in my body. Is it safe to be here? Is it safe to be here? And um, present, totally present in my body. Totally present in my body. I'm not sure that's safe. I'm not sure that's safe. Yeah, it's easier to ignore my body. It's easier to ignore my body. Yeah, and not value myself. And not value myself. Because it's painful. Because it's painful. There's all this stuff from the past. All this stuff from the past. It's really painful being here now in my body. It's really painful being here in my body. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to stop and take a deep breath. And I know there was some yawning going on, which is good. Any yawning, burping, emotion. Just, yeah, let me know if anything came up because I did. Quite a, not all the themes, but quite a few of those themes that were coming up already. It was a bit of a fast track, so. Yeah, tears are also welcome. 
releasing. Mm. But let me know if anything's coming up for you. Yeah, anything at all like that, um, that maybe there was a sentence that really resonated with you. Maybe you can put that into the chat box. You can also unmute yourself. That's also fine to talk. Um, anything that resonated? Any other sentences? Yeah, one thing we want to do another round on. That would be great. Yeah. So. I think everyone's deep in the process already. Everyone's deep. Okay. Ah, yeah. of loss. Yep, we can do that. Going from narcissistic abuse. It's quite intense. There's a lot of that actually happening in the world. Healing from narcissistic abuse. Yeah, that's that's huge, Rosie. As you know. Yeah. And fear of loss. Is that loss of yourself, your life? What kind of lo loss of health? Wow, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Self. Mm. Is it important you say the correct word each tapping? No, just get the feeling because I say a lot of words, Bernie. So just tune in what's right for you. You can even change the words, it's all fine, or we'll leave things out. Yeah, you're speaking to your unconscious and the and you're releasing at the unconscious levels. So it's whatever resonates for you. No, you can use either hand. We tap about five or six times on each point, but again, sometimes it's more, sometimes less. You can leave out points, it's all still okay. Can be really, really flexible. Okay. So we've got loss of self. There was a point that I also I really resonated with, but I can't it's got out of my mind now. It was there at the moment. So it must have just worked because it's like at the time, I was like, oh, that really resonates, but now it's just gone. <laughs> we did a bit of procrastinating, so I don't know who it was you said about that. Was there enough on that? Yeah. I don't know. Like, the whole belonging thing was like coming up belonging. to me. Like, not just not the belonging, but like just um, feeling connected to others. I think that was, that was one of the things, like feeling like, yeah. Bit more procrastination please yeah <laughs> there you go <laughs> all right okay That's yeah so just like yeah this yeah okay mm. all right the frequencies are still running so it's all releasing okay all right well we're pretty tuned in so we'll just keep going yeah yeah feeling the loss of myself feeling the loss for myself. Feeling the loss for my life. Feeling the loss for my life. Feeling the loss for my health. Feeling the loss of my health. All these losses. All these losses. All these regrets. All these regrets. Everything that's been holding me back. Everything that's been holding me back. Everything that we're all these losses yeah sorry there's a question there we will go on to the positives i think that's what it was yeah yeah feeling the loss in my life feeling the loss in my life feeling the lack of connection feeling the lack of connection lack of connection to myself Lack of connection to myself. Lack of connection to others. Lack of connection to others. Lack of connection to spirit. Lack of connection to spirit. Yeah. All this loss going on. All this loss going on. And all this lack going on. All this lack going on. Okay, so I want you to tune to where it is in your body. And we're just going to focus on that. So... And I'm going to ask Abby just to say, name it in her part of the body and you name it in your part of the body. So Abby, where is it in your body? Like um, stomach, like upper stomach, not lower stomach, like kind of solar plexus actually. 
yeah. so flexible. But it also, I also feel it in my throat. I also feel okay. it in my throat as well. It's like both. It's like this like yeah. kind of thing. Which is the strongest? And everyone oh, else is like, tuning I'm just I'm just tuning, I'm just tuning in now to see where it originates because it's yeah. I think it starts in the solar plexus and it then moves up. Okay. Yeah. So the point of view of making it easy, I'll say solar plexus, and you all say your parts of the body. Has it got a colour or a shape? Colour would be good. And everyone tune in and see if there's a colour or shape. Just describe it, because the more specific we are, the easier it is to release it. And a blue comes up for some reason. Blue. blue. Yeah, that's fine. Blue okay. square. <laughs> blue blue square. square. Okay. These feelings of loss and lack. This feeling of lo loss and lack. I'm feeling it in my solar plexus. Feeling it in my solar plexus. You say yours, yeah. It's this blue feeling in my solar plexus. This blue feeling in my solar plexus. Around lack. Around lack. And around loss. Around loss. This blue feeling in my solar plexus. This blue feeling in my solar plexus. Releasing it now. Releasing it now. And if it had an emotion then, what would it be? Oof. Grief. Grief. Yeah. Yeah. You all Ooh. tune in to your emotion and say what it is. Yeah. Feeling this grief. Feeling this grief. This grief in my solar plexus. This grief in my solar plexus. Yeah. And everyone keep releasing that feeling of theirs emotion. This emotion in my solar plexus. This emotion in my solar plexus. All this grief that's come up. Well, that's all this grief that's come up. Yeah. Lying to release now. Ready to release now. This grief in my solar plexus. This grief in my solar plexus. This blue grief in my solar plexus. This blue grief in my solar plexus. Letting it go. Letting it go. Yeah. Letting this emotion go. Letting this emotion go. Ready to release it now. Ready to release it now. Yeah. This grief in my solar plexus. This grief in my solar plexus. Letting it go. Letting it go. Okay, so just tune in now, Abby, and everyone else as well. See, see where it is, if it's changed or if it's gone. Yeah, it's kind of moved up a little bit now, actually, to the heart, to the, to the chest area, this, the heart space. Okay, so everyone tune in. And yours might have moved as well, or it yeah, could move completely, or it could still, still be there. So yours is now in your heart. Yeah, it's there up here now. Yeah, it moved a little okay. bit. And it's grief, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so has everyone tuned in? Is everyone okay with this? Just thumbs up? Yeah, okay. So we'll just keep going with that then. And you keep going whatever your emotion is. This remaining grief in my heart. This remaining grief in my heart. Yeah, all this grief in my heart. All this grief in my heart. What colour does it have, Abby, now? Like a dark green. This dark green grief in my heart. This dark green grief in my heart. Yeah. Releasing this grief. Releasing this grief. Releasing this grief. Yeah, this dark green grief in my heart. This dark green grief in my heart. Releasing it all now. I'm releasing it all now. Yeah, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. I trust myself. I trust myself. And I trust my body. And I trust my body. Yeah, releasing, releasing this remaining grief. Releasing this remaining grief. I let it go. I let it go. Let it go with love. Letting it go with love. Yeah. Letting it all go now. Letting it all go now. Okay. You want to take a deep breath and oh. just check in how you all are. How is everyone doing? Anything, any body parts, any anything different that came up for everyone else? Or was it a big release? I don't want, if anyone's really releases. very triggered, please come and I can do a round with you. Thank you, Sabine, you feel lighter. I don't want to leave you in this, so please reach out. Yeah. 
we will be doing positives in a minute so don't worry this is the, the negatives are important out the annual they are to start with big release yeah oh, thank yeah. you Cheryl that was very deep for me actually as well to be honest I'm like woof. it looked like you weren't expecting it <laughs> me no <laughs> I don't know well, well yeah I don't know I of course, it's working for me too, right? It's working yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So it plexus to throat, yeah. And and we can you can always, if there's more, mm. you can just come back and do more tapping rounds on it. Great. Okay. All right. So we've got about 20 minutes left, just so you know, just to the... Okay, so I just want to check in how everyone is. Um, yeah, Rosie. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, good. Felt it moving up. Um, my throat chakra has always been blocked. Uh, so I need to move it up and away from there now. Um, just perfect. Get it out. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep going. We'll do some positives on that. But yeah, thank you. I'll do some stuff on the throat. Great. Everyone else, just the thumbs up. Just let me know you're okay. And if. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Perfect. Okay. Margaret, Louise. Okay, Bernie. Thank you, and Chris. Okay. So we're ready to go on to the positives. Yeah, I think everyone's ready to do the positives. Great. I didn't know. So this yeah. should move. Go on. Oh, I don't know. Do we do some a little bit around the throat first and then we'll go yeah. positive? Just a quick yeah. round. So we'll just acknowledge the the negatives, the, the the pain that we're carrying, and then we move through, move them through. Okay. Yeah, it's because a few other things. Okay. Yeah. Releasing this block in my throat. Releasing this block in my throat. I can't speak my truth. I cannot speak my truth. It's not safe. It's not safe. I keep my emotions inside me. I keep my emotions inside me. And I keep my words inside me. I keep my words inside me. Yeah, because it's not safe. Because it's not safe. Yeah, feeling discouraged. I'm feeling discouraged. All these burdens in my life. All these burdens in my life. Yeah, I can't speak my truth. I cannot speak my truth. I can't move forward. I can't move forward. All these insecurities. All these insecurities. All these blocks for getting out there. All the blocks for getting out there. Yeah. So many reasons not to speak. So many reasons not to speak. What will people think of me? What will people think of me? Will they judge me? Will they judge me? Will I get it wrong? Will I get it wrong? Will I say the wrong thing? Will I say the wrong thing? Is it safe? Is it safe? Yeah. But I'm ready to let that all go now. I'm ready to let all that go now. I'm ready to heal the past. I'm ready to heal the past. Yeah, I'm ready to let the past go. I'm ready to let the past go. In a way that's safe for me. In a way that's safe for me. Yeah. This fear of speaking out. This fear of speaking out. This fear of saying what I truly feel. This fear of feeling what I truly feel. Wor worrying about other people's reactions. Worrying about other people's reactions. Yeah. Time to let that one go. Time to let that one go. Time to do things for me now. Time to do things for me now. Yeah. Releasing all that blockage in my throat. Releasing all that blockage in my throat. Okay, I'll just stop there and just let you breathe that one. Take a deep breath. And then we must go on to some positives. Is that good, Rosie? Oh, good. Got a smile there. Yeah, that definitely moves something, I think, through the throat for me as well. Yeah. That's great. 
Okay. Um, right, we'll do the positives. I, I'm, I'm going to run a, an Alaskan gem, um, Alaskan gem Alexis scan at the same time. And I'm going to run the frequencies from them just to support the positives. Lovely. And I guess if anything comes up, you could, I don't know what you do, put it in the chat box or, or just or just allow the sync. We can, yeah, we can allow it and then we can talk about what came up at the end. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, just feel your body on your chair while we're just waiting for that and uh, take a breath and we're going to do the positives now. One second. I'll just get everyone just just for a minute to connect. We're all connecting. Imagine that we're all in a group connected to each other as we are now, even though we're on Zoom. Let me just close your eyes and really just tap into everyone else in the room and feeling connected to everybody here. Like even imagine holding hands with each other all together. So we really can feel the support of each other as a group. Feeling supported and protected and surrounded in a safe container with each other. And just feeling into that connectedness with the group right now. Maybe feeling the tingles in your feet, feeling the feet on the earth. Breathing in through your nose. And breathing out through the mouth. Allowing for whatever emotions or feelings that may have come up in the last 20 minutes, just allow them to be there, acknowledge them. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna run the frequencies and I'll tell you what's coming up at the end. But there's some really beautiful stuff coming up. All right, great. Whoa. We've got gold, we've got Herkimer diamond, we've got opal. Okay, I will explain them afterwards. I'm gonna let Anya continue the positives. Okay. All right, top of the head. I choose to be in flow. I choose to be in flow. I am in flow. I am in flow. I trust my intuition. I trust my intuition. I listen to my heart. I listen to my heart. I follow my intuition. I'm following my intuition. I trust myself. I trust myself. I have a clear vision. I have a clear vision. I'm connected to my third eye. I'm connected to my third eye. My vision is connected to my third eye. My vision is connected to my third eye. I'm connected to spirit at all times. I'm connected to spirit at all times. My channels are open. My channels are open. I trust myself. I trust myself. And I trust spirit. And I trust spirit. And I trust the universe. And I trust the universe. Yes. I'm feeling safe and grounded in my body. I'm feeling safe and grounded in my body. I'm feeling an inner peace. I feel an inner peace. I give myself encouragement. I give myself encouragement. I'm doing my best, doing the best I can. I am doing the best I can. And I am good enough. I am good enough. And I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Again. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Yeah. And I trust myself. And I trust myself. I allow my, I value myself. I value myself. I value my worth. I value my worth. I am worthy. I am worthy. And I realize my own magnificence. I realize my own magnificence. I am here on earth for a reason. I am here on earth for a reason. And I am in touch with that right now. I am in touch with that right now. Yeah. I already am what others are seeking. I already am what others are seeking. Yeah. I allow myself to feel happy. I allow myself to feel happy. I allow myself to enjoy my life. I allow myself to enjoy my life. Yeah, life is fun. Life is fun. I am happy. 
I am happy. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am love. I am love. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am prosperous. I am prosperous. I'm in perfect health. I'm in perfect health. I am well. I am well. I belong. I belong. I belong and I'm welcome here on earth. I belong and I'm welcome here on earth. And I connect to myself. I connect to myself. And I connect to others. And I connect to others. Easily. Easily. Yeah, I speak my truth. I speak my truth. I absolutely deserve to speak my truth. I absolutely deserve to speak my truth. I can feel all my feelings. I can feel all my feelings. I am here. I am here. And I'm present right now. I'm present right now. Loving myself. Loving myself. Knowing I am good enough. Knowing I am good enough. Just as I am. Just as I am. I am enough. I am enough. Yeah, I am love. I am love. And I am loved. I am loved. And I am loving. And I am loving. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's see how that feels. It definitely feels good with the positives. Yes. A few more of those rounds. I think we're going to be vibrating like we were last time. I'd be like, Whoa. yes. With the, yeah, has... the Healy frequencies. Do yeah. you want to see what's coming up on the Healy? Would that be also useful for the next positive round? Let's. Come on, okay. For that. All right. Let's just show you what's coming up with Alaskan gems. So we've got at the top 76% Opal. So this infuses the etheric and subtle bodies with the full spectrum of luminous colors, rejuvenates spent emotional and mental forces and counteracts the depletion of color frequencies in the aura and it replenishes our creative energies. So that's quite high up as well. So like maybe something around finding energy, getting more energy for create, being creative, finding our creative flow maybe. Something around that. Yep. Um, then we've got Herkimer Diamond. A highly developed transmitter of white light promotes clarity of vision. So there's the clarity of vision. Um, stimulates the healing on all levels. Facilitates clarity during the dream state. Helps us fine tune and focus the activities of the sixth chakra. Then we've got Smoky Quartz, which is great because it's for grounding, calming, Synchronizing body energy with earth energy regulates and stabilizes the detoxification of unwanted energies from the physical, emotional, and mental bodies. Then we've got carnelian. So this was um, increasing the ability of the etheric body to absorb prana energy, which revitalizes and extinguishes the nadirs, which is the, an energetic interface between the etheric body and the meridians. So it allows a greater flow of energy to the meridians. So it's like basically flowing of energy in the body. And then we've got gold coming up. So we've got this brings strength and balance to the third chakra, which is actually the solar plexus. Um, enables us to access and bring forth into the physical reality the highest aspects of our personal identity and helps us to tap into our inner truth, joy, wisdom as a source of creative power. So maybe some uh, positives around feeling, get, getting our power back, tapping into our wisdom, uh, our inner truth, and finding our personal identity. Yeah. So that's what we're running right now for everybody while we do the positive rounds, which I think is beautiful. All right. I'll let you get on with the next positive round then. Lovely. All right. Here we go. Okay. I allow myself to be creative. I allow myself to be creative. I am in creative flow. I am in creative flow. I give myself time to be creative. I give myself time to be creative. 
I have a clarity of vision. I have a clarity of vision. Yeah, I allow myself to get clear on my vision. I allow myself to get clear on my vision. I'm clear on my vision. I'm clear on my vision. Yeah, I am in complete flow. I am in complete flow. I'm vibrating all over my body. I'm vibrating all over my body. With this creative flow. With this creative flow. This energy is flowing through my body. This energy is flowing through my body. I know my inner truth. I know my inner truth. I speak my inner truth. I speak my inner truth. I feel my inner truth. I feel my inner truth. I'm feeling joy. I'm feeling joy. Joy for my life. Joy for my life. Joy for me. Joy for me. Joy for everything I experience. Joy for everything I experience. I'm tapping into my wisdom. I'm tapping into my wisdom. It's there. It's there. I trust my wisdom. I trust my wisdom. I trust what I receive. I trust what I receive. And I flow with it. And I flow with it. It's my gift. It's my gift. And I deserve to have that. And I deserve to have that. I know my inner truth. I know my inner truth. Yeah, I'm feeling my power. I'm feeling my power. That power inside me. That power inside me. When I follow my wisdom. When I follow my wisdom. And my inner truth. And my inner truth. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I stand in my power. And I stand in my power. Making a difference to the world. Making a difference in the world. Healing myself. Healing myself. And others. And others. Yeah. Tapping into that creativity. Tapping into that creativity. And that wisdom. And that wisdom. And that joy for life. And that joy for life. Allowing the flow through all of me. Allowing the flow flow through all of me. Yeah, allowing my power to shine through. Allowing my power to shine through. Allowing me to shine. Allowing me to shine. I am shining my truth. I am shining my truth. I am shining my light. I am shining my light. I am shining all of me. I'm shining all of me. Yeah, I have my vision. I have my vision. I am creative. I am creative. In any way it wants to come out. In any way it wants to come out. Yeah, I've reclaimed my power. I've reclaimed my power. And I know my inner truths. And I know my inner truths. And I express them all now. I express them all now. Trusting myself. Trusting myself. Trusting my life. Trusting my life. Feeling connected. Feeling connected. All that love vibrating around me. All that love vibrating around me. And all that joy in my life. And all that joy in my life. And all that passion. And all that passion. And all that self-belief. And all that self-belief. Having it all now. Having it all now. Okay. Ooh, take a deep breath. Ooh. How are you all doing? I'm vibrating. I don't know about anyone else. <laughs> yeah, we had a message. Rosie is vibrating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting with the tapping because it really like you physically vibrate and at the same time you're getting it. So that's why I like to mix the two together. It's like you can really embody it, embody the healing frequencies as well. Yeah. Oh, Great. any feedback from anybody? How's everyone feeling? Unmute, anyone? please unmute and say a few words. That'll be lovely. Yeah. Does it? Does everyone just want to unmute themselves one at a time and then we'll just say a couple of words. How are you feeling? Just so we can... And get an idea. <laughs> Hello, thank you, Anya. I I really loved it. I it I feel everything. <laughs> everything you said, it's in me, and it was fantastic. Just what I needed, really. I had big trauma and losses in my life, and and I feel so much light. I know in my heart area, and and let that joy back into me. So thank you so much, Abby and, and Anya. That's lovely. Thank you, Sabine. Oh, lovely to hear, Sabine. Thank you so much. 
this is so powerful isn't it i love it so much we'll be doing these once a month so you'll be able to tap in tap in <laughs> i feel the same as sabine i feel really um so much lighter and i feel i feel like joy i just feel like i want to be so happy oh. i didn't feel like that when i came on here that's for sure <laughs> So, yeah, I feel like it will shift. Fantastic. Thank you, Margaret. Wow. And remember, you can always go back and do it again on the Heal Avalon Lounge and the recording. You can always go back and just do it again. Just watch it again and keep tapping. Yes. Um, I, I feel I would love to go to bed and just sleep. <laughs> No, it was fantastic. I can feel my throat. You probably hear it in, in the voice. You know, and I kept yawning and yawning. No, it really was powerful. Thank, thanks, Abby, for allowing this and Anya for coming on. And everybody else who was part of the group because everybody, when they said something in the chat, and I thought, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, I could just resonate with everything that was being said. And even the crystals that came up, I thought, whoa. Yeah. And I actually had my smoky quartz and something told me to put it away from the computer. So it was as if it was drawing the negative energy away from everybody in the group. Now, I don't know where that notion came from. <laughs> so intuition, Bernie. Uh -huh. <laughs> so thank you. Mm, maybe, well, maybe going to bed would be good. Have yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> If your body wants to rest, because you've been using all those stress hormones, and sometimes rest is, is what our body needs. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, wonderful. I wonder if somebody came in at one o'clock and no, no, no potatoes on the table. For me lying in bed. Oh, oh, oh Bernie. No, oh. it was lovely. Thank you, Bernie, for sharing. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your presence, as always. <laughs> always welcome. Thank you. Rosie, do you want to share a few words? Yes, thank you. That was that was great. That was that was lovely. I, th I mean, probably like all of us, I've looked at tapping in the past and it's kind of just, it's kind of getting it together has just not happened. So walking through it like that has been wonderful. It's, it's been brilliant. Thank you so much. And also I'd like to say about the group as well, because I very much felt the, 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 the group... Um, strengthening the whole process mm. so yeah it was lovely thank you so you're going to do exactly the same you're going to do the same thing both of you every month now yeah yeah so it's part of the it's part of the membership so it's, it's just one of those sessions but we're going to do it monthly um and uh yeah so basically we'll do a different theme every time so we'll yeah. do different yeah. themes it will be different for whatever is coming up and We'll do different types of scans. We'll do some coaching scans. We'll do aura scans. We'll just see what we're feeling in the moment. Or I'll, I'll have a topic. You'll be able to see it. I'll, I'll share it on the group. Um, yeah, if you want to be part of the lounge, just let me know. We can talk afterwards. Or if you want to just join as a single session, it's also possible. So like you did this time. So yeah, we can talk after about that. Thank you, Rosie. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. And I'm, yes, I want to say about the power of the group. We're all benefiting from whatever we're working on. We're so connected. That's why it's lovely to do it in the group. You're right. It's a lovely group today, too. It is more powerful in a group. Mm. Anything we want to do, especially with Healy frequencies as well, if we've all got a similar intention, everything is magn magnified. It's, everything's amplified. So when there's a group together, our energies, when we're connecting with a similar intention, with the healing frequencies and the tapping, it's way more powerful to do that healing work than it is on your own, just so you know that. And that's why I like doing these sessions. It's an e And that's why it's so nice to connect with each other. And even though we're on Zoom, there's something about this particular EFT tapping with frequencies that just brings the physical into, into reality in these sessions. It's almost like we can connect easier. So yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Rosie. Really great. <laughs> my you want to say um, one more thing? yeah, um, my cat. I've got two cats. One's really energetic and normally joins me when I'm doing energy things. She hasn't been near, but my boy cat came straight in when we started, and he's been sitting there. Say hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, yeah. And he's never usually sitting in here at this time of day. He's usually grubbing about in the 
in the growth outside. So he felt it. <laughs> I'm sensing you, sensing you, because actually something really interesting I learned the other day from um, uh, someone who works with horses is that she, if there's an issue with a horse, she always treats the owner. She yeah. always treats the owner first. Yeah. So when you're healing yourself, then it's also healing the cat because the cat is a reflection of you. In yeah, and that, that happened in philosophy as well. If a child's ill, we look at the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the parent, the mother. Yeah. Exactly. So there's a little insight. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I, a cat at the same time. I told my husband that the other day because we live, we live on a farm and there was um, an efficiency in the cattle. So it was an inefficiency in the cattle, you know, um, at a fax, the milk yield and everything. I turned around and I said, if you get milk couch more often and you were in better form, the cattle would be in better form. Uh-huh. I think he was going to send for people in white coats. Uh, was he? <laughs> oh. He thought, you talk such crap at times. Oh. One, one of my sons was standing. He says, "You know, Daddy, everything's worth a try." Yeah, exactly. You know what? Maybe you can't. You know, you can't convince anyone, but there'll be something about your energy, Bernie, that will be reflecting, mm-hmm. and will be somewhat doing something. So, don't self doubt yourself. You know, you don't need <laughs> to convince anyone. You know, you know how it works. You know how mm-hmm. energy works. All right. Thank you. Moving on to Louise. Thank you very much. I found my session really, really, really powerful. Um, uh, my energy feels quite low now. Um, um, I'm always racing around and doing too much and getting too stressed. So um, I've done quite a lot of release technique um, over the last couple of well, couple of years, really, but recently having doing a lot and um, really trying to work on releasing the stress held in my body. So now I feel like really that. So I, I found it. Uh, fantastic so thank you very much also what kind of tapping is this i've never done it with the wrist and then the fingertips before i've done quite um, a lot of different styles of eft finger, the fingertips was always part of the original with, with gary and wrist is there are a lot of meridians here so i include wrist some people do um and the americans don't use the fingers so more so much but there are important meridian points here so it's always good to include it but you don't have to and uh, yeah, I hope you can rest now. If you've released some of that stress, I hope you have time to look after yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. All right, Cheryl, finally. Yeah, I, I feel very good. Thank you. I, I'm not buzzing. Like, I, I, so I'm quite envious of everyone who's like way up there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah I'm clearer in the head my my thing was the head rather than solar plexus or anything but what was really powerful I, th- I think I clear for not just me I think I pick up from other people but the grief thing came out of nowhere because I wasn't feeling any grief or anything but I said started to say grief and suddenly I was crying so yeah that that's so I think that's why I'm sort of still a little bit shaky from that but I feel I feel okay and it's a lot clearer in my head, but that's probably why I'm not buzzing yet. So okay. I'm sure later on it'll catch up and yeah. that will be. So, yeah. thank so you. remember that heart breathing, that's really good. Taking slow, long breaths into your heart. That will just bring you back down again. That's really good just to go back on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank I feel you. that it's very, very powerful. Mm, yeah, very connected. So thank you. You're welcome. welcome. All right. Uh, and Chris, finally, are you there? Yeah, sorry. I'm here. Sorry, it's, it's six in the morning down here, so I'm a little, uh, little, little in need of sleep. But uh, you know what? Uh, it has helped. Like I mean, uh, I can't say enough because um, there was a lot, a lot of tension when I started this for whatever reason. And now it's like, I'm so relaxed, so relieving, and you can feel the relief. That's like, okay, I'm ready to go back to bed. Well Uh, done, Chris, you're so dedicated. You're always getting up in the middle of the night to do these sessions. Yeah, hope you can sleep well now, Chris. 
Thank you, Chris. It's good to have you here as well. Good to have your energy here. Thank you everyone for joining. So we went over a little bit, but it was good just to hear from everyone how you're doing. If you, if anyone feels like they've got still something still stuck, you can always reach out to Anya. Um, yeah, please also do. feel free to go back and look on the, um, on the session and do the positive rounds again. You know, if you feel like you need more positives, just go back and do the positive rounds again. Just keep doing that. And yeah. Um, yeah, just reach out if you've got anything. And if anyone wants to join the member, members lounge, um, let me know because we do, you get everything. You get all these sessions. We do like maybe 12, sometimes more sessions every month um, for all different things like learning Healy and tapping. And we do lots of healing, but also we do lots of learning about Healy and different the databases and things like that. So if you want to know more, just reach out to me. All right. Hi, it's 11 11. Uh, okay. Is it usually this at around this time or other times yeah, as well? So it's you at the moment I've been doing like it's either Monday or Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Yeah, around the same time. Sorry, at 10 o'clock okay. UK time. Yes. And then we'll do and then we'll do usually one on a Thursday or a Wednesday at 6 p.m., which is usually another time for anyone in America, which makes more sense. But sometimes it changes and sometimes I'm doing like quick um Sometimes I'm also doing, I'm going to be doing more of this in the group now. I'm going to just be jumping on live and doing 10 minute sessions, just really quick sessions so that we're not doing a whole hour. So you could be able to check in, like everything's going to be on the group now in, in Facebook. So you can really find everything so easily and everything's streamed live and it's just, it's working so much better. And also there's a, there's also an e-learning suite. So there's that as well on the website, you've got a members area where you can get all resources and things like that, which I've created. Um, it's really good. Like, ask, there's a few members here. Um, Cheryl's a member, Bernie's a member, Margaret's a member. Uh, who else? Yeah, there's actually got people here who are just single sessions, actually. Um, but yeah, reach out to them if you want to ask about that, if you want to ask them, see how it is for them. And um, yeah, just feel free to ask me. I can show you around on a call, quick, quick Zoom call. I can show you what, 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 the, um, what it looks like to be part of it. So yeah, thank you for joining everyone. You'll receive the recording into your into your mailbox as well. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye right, everybody. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Bye. Thank you, Anya. Thank you, Abby and Anya. Thank you. Thank you. Much thank love you, to everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.